What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. Before I start today's video, I want to give a quick shout out to Peter Mao, who's an American Tekken player and now a Tekken content creator and he wants to focus on teaching Tekken basics and fundamentals to beginners, which I think is great. I think that's overlooked by a lot of Tekken content creators. Uh, it's very cleanly presented, he has a great voice, great edit. So if this sounds interesting, please do check out his channel. I'm gonna link it below on this video and do tell Peter main man says hi. But now let's take a look at the Iron Grandpa, Heihachi Mishima in Tekken 7. <laughs> God, I'm getting old. Talking about Iron Grandpa and skip the Iron part. Uh, the piece of shit Grandpa, main man. Uh, suffering a stroke daily, unfortunately. Life of a 33 year old. So, uh, his mids and highs, his frames, his uh, ability to be oppressive, just like in any other Tekken game, he excels at this. But he still doesn't have any lows. But where in Tekken 7, you might actually have a reason to duck him once in a while, you just never do that in Tag 1, because uh, his moves, the mids and highs, are just so absurd. It's just on a different level. And why, why not explain this by showing his, uh, his electric, which is, uh, mm, I, don't, I don't know how to describe it, uh, but the team behind this game ever could have come to the conclusion that this is balanced, yeah, I don't know how you would do that. Uh, so we have an electric here, pushback plus five on block, uh, if they crouch, they get launched. But this is a special mid. You probably saw my video on Jin and Tag 1. His electric is high, but if you press the tag button to tag out, it becomes a special mid. Just like a dick jab, meaning you can guard it standing or guard it crouching. Heihachi's electric is always a special mid. You don't need a tag button. Um, and interestingly, if a crouch guard, it has this massive pushback, as you can see. So what this means is that Heihachi's electric is always safe. <laughs> you can never duck it and launch punish him because it's never a high. So Heihachi can do this all fucking day long no matter if you're stand guarding or if you're crouch guarding this is already pretty fucking absurd i would say and uh, he has pretty good damage usually you do cd441 into down one into oki which was great he did have, have good oki with the hell sweeps um, but why not just immediately tag in the grandson who always gets the damage job done? Uh, so already electric, pretty crazy. And he has his 442. Sure, it's minus 16 on block. It does have a pushback, you know this. But it does 30 damage on its own. It's tag bufferable, throws them super high. Um, it's mid. Uh, yeah. Just like today, uh, a really, really good, good move. Really good. Uh, and of course, he has the classic legacy old man twin pistons. 13 frame launcher. Yes, ish, ish. Sure, it's launch punishable on block, but you would never use this as a mix up. You know, you have your other mids to do that. This is the easy. You can't fuck up the input, it's so easy. The easy 13 frame, pretty decent range actually. Launch punish. Oof, how I miss this move. Although I like the new Dunford one too, this is... If he actually had this today, oh god. You'd see him quite a bit. And of course, the pressure is there. We still have one back two, which is one of the best strings in the game. Just like today, tracks a shitload. It's minus one on block here, so it's better than today. Today it's minus two, I think. Um, it's not a natural combo, but it's high mid. We keep our momentum. Uh, super good. Upward 3 4, really nice. Uh, monster move on block, plus seven. Oh, I'll take it, I guess. 
And forward four is also a beast, just like other forward fours. Uh, Mishima forward fours and tag one, it's plus 11 on block. So basically, enough time to go into the kitchen, make a sandwich, come back, and then do the next move. You know, it's, it's just massive. Uh, and he also has, of course, the property where... Oh, did I hit you, cr hit you crouching? Oh, I get an electric into Grandson. So, can I just get one combo? Oh my god! Thank you! Uh, so, uh, forward 4 is a monster. Yeah, you don't duck Heiachi in this game. I'm, I'm just trying to get that out there. We don't really duck Heiachi in this game. Uh, and forward 4 3, if you want a mid launcher, you know, and keep it super safe. I mean, if you don't want to use your mid electric, that is. You have Ford Ford Free, which has some range. Afterwards, you get CD441. It's a little tight to do. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That didn't combo. Okay, th this is hilarious. Come on, I'm a Heihachi, I'm a Mishima expert. <gasps> but I'm recording for YouTube. I'm getting down four, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna do it once. Thank you! First try, Jesus, I'm good. And uh, so... If I was playing this today, I would practice what I could do at you know, on at least the second attempt. Uh, but 4 4 3 was really good because it's plus 4 on block, <laughs> so you keep your momentum naturally. You know, compare that to 4 4 2, which is minus 16 with pushback. Uh, 4 4 2 has more range, but 4 4 3, the range is, as you can see, it's not too bad. And plus 4, so good shit. Uh, and then we have an often overlooked move by beginner and intermediate Heiachis, but uh, high level Heiachis use this and it's while, uh, while standing too. And why is that? He takes a pretty large sidestep into a mid that is safe on block. It's got good frames on hit. Boom! Boom! Boom shakalaka into advantage. Uh, and on counter hit, it would give CD441. It would give CD441 into down one, uh, which is great damage, and you get Okisema afterwards, and it's just beautiful. So, now we know, okay, we have a pressure, we have ridiculous mids and highs. Do we have lows? Well, let me tell you, he actually has a safe low poke that has good frames on hit. Down four here is minus eight on block. It's actually safe. What's that? Hey, actually, what a safe low poke. And you know, on hit, it's actually plus three. That's really good. And if you hold full crouch, it does 10 damage suddenly. But then it's suddenly minus nine on block, but it's still safe. So full crouch down four, man, we, we have a low poke. Absolutely. Uh, down back 3 is also a low poke, but that's launch punishable, so th this is completely useless. You'd never use this when you can do this. Uh, and then we have the Hell Sweeps, which on block, of course, is staggers. Uh, sorry. So, launch punishable. Uh, the second sweep is minus 14. So, uh, some characters would launch you, but most absolutely not. Uh, but still, you had good options here. So, of course, it's it's not a um, Jin Hell Sweep. It's still Heiachi's Hell Sweep. But considering you, you'd never duck this character, it's pretty good. Uh, 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 into mid. Uh, this is, of course, a 50-50 mix-up. After the first hit connects, you guess mid or low. So this is not a natural combo. But if the Wild Sunning 4 did connect here, the, he ducked. Uh, I'm left at plus 8. Oh, you do the whole thing for a lot of damage. Uh, if, they, if they only stand, 
you would get this combo. That's quite a lot of damage. Uh, so, uh, again, like, the craziest electric in the game. Pretty good... <laughs> that was not a combo. Pretty good damage on his own, to be honest. Could always tag in the grandson, because let's face it, you would never play this game without Jin in your team. Uh, he has a low poke. Uh, sure, only 10 damage, but who who would duck him? No one. Uh, yeah, craziest electric you'd ever seen. Superb pressure. Insane mid. Oh, and back too. Yeah, let's not forget about that. Uh, zero on block, I think. Perfectly neutral. Long range. Tracks quite a bit. Good plus frames on hit, and I think it launches... No, it knocks, knocks down on counter it into Oki. But yeah, a very good move, very good move. So, that was Heihachi in Tag 1. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it taught you something. Do check out Peter Mao, a lovely guy, and uh, everyone have a nice day. Thank you for listening to me.